but those who are expecting a dull, conservative wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should think again, especially after song plans for their first dance were revealed. According to insiders, the couple have gone against convention for their ceremonial boogie, which will kickstart the star-studded reception on 19 May. Bizarrely, the couple are said to have chosen Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me to soundtrack their very first dance as husband and wife. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, image, PA, a rather unconventional choice, it's all pasty of a fun and bouncy playlist, according to The Sun. They say that the evening soundtrack is deliberately designed to be tongue-in-cheek for maximum frivolity among the 1,200 wedding guests. A number of other tracks from the 1980s are also expected to be aired. As if that wasn't enough, there is also set to be live music from special guest Elton John, who cancelled two Las Vegas concerts to attend the royal event at Windsor Castle. Insiders say a grand piano will be on side for the crooner to play during the reception. Whitney Houston's vocals will soundtrack the first dance Elton John is believed to be performing at the Bash Image, PA, however, those hoping for a performance from the Spice Girls will be sorely disappointed, as those rumors have already been shut down. Similarly, Chris Martin's Coldplay also won't be taking to the stage, despite whispers to the contrary. The latest development comes shortly after the royal family confirmed the American actress's dad will walk her down the aisle when she ties the knot with the sixth in line to the throne. A spokesman said that the wedding day will also celebrate the memory of Princess Diana with her three siblings invited and her sister Lady Jane Fellows giving the reading. Unusually, Meghan will not have a maid of honor and will instead only have children as bridesmaids on the day, whose names will be announced a few days before the wedding. But it has also been revealed Prince Philip, who is recovering from a recent hip replacement, might be unable to attend.